Now, about 20,000 people turned out this weekend for one of the last big music festivals of the summer. It was Harvest at Jimmy's on Jimmy Doherty's farm in Suffolk. It's a mix of food and music with top chefs John Christoph Novelli and the Hairy Bikers rubbing shoulders with bands like Scouting for Girls. Our entertainment reporter Dawn Gerber was there. As the festival season closes, fans arriving at Jimmy's farm were in for something different. Barbecued spicy mutton burgers, spit roasted rare breed pork. It's been brilliant, just really laid back, lots of really excellent food. I'm from Birmingham and we thought this would be a nice end of season festival. This is the second year of Harvest at Jimmy's, which attracted around 20,000 people. But unlike other festivals, you didn't have to rough it. The idea of it is a, a really chic pop-up restaurant that is organic, local, sustainable food. And there's got to be people out there who think, oh, I'm at a festival. I'd love to have a really cool, fabulous dinner. Some chicken breast stuff with uh, Suffolk pork sausage. Backstage, the hairy bikers were prepping their dish. I think, personally, that people are here to enjoy themselves, have a look at something that's kind of tasty to eat. They're looking for something maybe they recognise, like the fish cakes or, or dishes we've done on the telly. We deliver boxes of organic vegetables to people's homes. It's developed since then. This is an ideal opportunity for us. People can come to us and they can actually see the produce that we supply. Of course, it wasn't just about food. The festival had some top acts. It looks brilliant. The stage is nice. The crowd's kind of out already, so yeah, should be good. This is a unique festival. I think it's got like a, a completely different vibe to anything else yeah. we've ever played. And organisers thought this year had been a great success. Family, food and music, and they're, they're three great virtues. And I just thought, it's not rocket science, but if we can bring these things together and under the umbrella of a festival, then um, it, it should really work. And I feel it really has. As fans partied into the evening, organisers were planning for next year. They hope to whisk up a tasty lineup of top chefs and bands. Dawn Gerber, BBC Look East, Suffolk. Now, it's that time of year when we're looking for you to nominate your sporting unsung heroes. The winner will go forward to the national finals. Last year, Doreen Adcock, of swimming teacher from Milton Keynes, won the top national award on the BBC Sports Personality of the Year programme. So how's life changed for her since then? of the unsung hero for 2009 is Doreen Adcock. You could have knocked me down with the feather when they called out my name. My husband and I were watching the programme on television, fingers crossed, and when they said Doreen Adcock had won, I think we both jumped in the air, screaming, and then I have to say, I think we both probably burst into tears, actually. There was Jimmy White, um, Rebecca Addington, Gary Lineker fiddling with the mic. Many congratulations, Dory. Um, I'm sure you'd like to say a few words. Would you like to say a few words? It's on, it's on, don't worry. She's taught over 13,000 people in Milton Keynes to swim over the years. Over 2,000 of those are children with special needs, disabled children. And one of those children is my daughter, Alexandra, who's got Down syndrome. And it's made a massive difference to our lives, and I can't thank Doreen enough for that. It gives me such a lovely, warm feeling inside of me to know what I've done to help these people. Thank you. Doreen, I'm sure they'll be very proud of you. thousands of people across the country, I'm sure, who, who are doing something and they may not think it's a lot, but actually they're changing people's lives and I would say go for it and nominate. I think I've achieved such a high honour in the country, I can't believe it, not even to this day.
she was great. We had some great finalists last year as well. We did, yes. It was very impressive, wasn't it? And if you want to nominate your unsung sporting hero this year, you can go to our website and download the form, or you can call this number, and we'll put one in the post for you. It's 03700 100 800. Calls from landlines will be charged at your standard rate, but mobiles may cost more. Now, just before the weather, a word about our Wild Weather series. We're building up to a special programme next Monday with Phil.